not. If I wanted to see you again, why would I swipe your notebook? Why wouldn't I just invite you over for drinks? Maybe you'd be afraid that I wouldn't accept. And would you? Try me. <laughs> Wait, just one. Let us... We have to stop, really, truly. I cannot take another minute of these double messages. Uh, I don't mean to say that kind of stuff. I just... Uh, maybe I can't help it. Can't help what? The hello or the goodbye? Uh, both, maybe. Oh, now, I don't know why, but I find this very encouraging. Uh, look, maybe I just don't want you to think I'm leading you on. Why not? That's what I want you to think. Yeah, but you see, that's why it's no good. Well, I'm old enough to know what's good for me. Yeah. But I, I don't know why I say these things. I mean, they just seem to... I, I've got to stop myself, though, because I can't back it up. Why not? <laughs> Because I'm just, my life is too complicated right now, that's all. Oh, things are never as complicated as they seem. Yeah, well, this time, uh, they are. But, uh, don't worry, I'll try and stay out of your way. Oh, no, I don't want you to stay out of my way. Really, Jonathan, how much positive reinforcement do you need? From you, none. That's, there I go again, yeah, I, I do it again. Uh, look, maybe sometime later on, down the road, we can act on all this. Down the road. Would you like to give me an idea just how long this road is? Are we talking a few miles or a few thousand miles? Uh, that's uh, kind of hard to tell. Uh, I really got to get back to work, Dorian. I see. But we can remain friends, can't we? I don't know. Can we? Sure. I mean, we really know very little about each other. And I don't see why the getting to know you process can't continue, you know, on a sort of non-threatening, casual basis. Lunch, party, party, that's okay. I'm willing to take a chance if you are. I want to invite you to a party, one of them planning for ages. There'll be some very interesting people there. I'm sure that you'll enjoy yourself. And uh, my reputation for affairs is highly touted. Parties, that is. <laughs> well, you see, all you had to do was ask. I accept your invitation if I'm free that night. Great. Now, when is it? The date has just slipped my mind, but I'll look it up and I'll get you the details as soon as possible. Good. I'll expect to hear from you. Wonderful. You will. <laughs> Goodbye, Joy. Goodbye, Jonathan. Jonathan gets more and more gorgeous every time I see him. Yes, so I noticed. Listen, we've got to drop everything. We've got to plan a party. And I want it to be absolutely the most marvelous party I've ever given in my life. <laughs> Why do we suddenly have to plan a party? Because I just invited Jonathan Russell to one. I told him <laughs> I'd been planning it for ages, Connie. I mean, really, the man practically ripped my clothes off. <gasps> but... At the same time, kept backing away from me while insisting there wasn't any other woman. I can't take it any longer. Uh, really? I, 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 I'm not following this. Look, look, whatever it is that is holding him back, and I really don't think it's another woman, I somehow think will be less important the more he sees me. Oh, I see. You mean his resistance will fall. You got it. Oh. Now then. What we have to get is a theme for this party. Something, something urgent, something, a fundraiser. Yes, yes. Who needs money? Everybody needs money these days. The hospital, of course, the Philharmonic. Uh, uh, the homeless and hungry. That's an important issue, especially with the 25th. Dorian, Dorian, we'll Dorian, get the most Dorian, important Dorian, influence Dorian, um, you had me come over here at 7 o'clock early this morning to do some heavy paperwork, and um, you said it was urgent and important. Are we going to get to this? It or? is important. It is urgent. But right now, nothing is more urgent in my life than getting closer to Jonathan Russell. Mm. Okay, you let me know when you're ready to continue. Right? Yes, yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. Welcome home, Cassie. Uh, how did he know I was gone? Everybody knows about your trip except me. 
I haven't had a moment's peace worrying about what might happen to you. I'm not the one that you should worry about. Jenny and David are. I think they're in terrible trouble. To contact somebody to come and help them. So what are you going to do? Live your life in a state of suspended animation until you hear from them? Cassie, I do admire the fact that you want to do anything you can for the people that you love. But darling, you cannot help two people that don't exist. That's say that. Jenny and David are out there somewhere. They no doubt have different names. They may even have different faces for all we know. Kathy, they said goodbye to a life that includes you. Now you have to say goodbye to them. No. No, I'm not, not going to do that until I know that they're, they're all right. Even Nancy Drew took a day off every now and then. Oh, please, this is not a joke, Mom. I'm sorry. I was only trying to make you smile. I'd like to see you have some fun again. I know exactly what you need. Not another blind date, please. No, 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 no. I'm giving a party, a wonderful party. Next Friday, you can even help me plan it. That way it'll take your mind off a more serious matter. I don't think a party will do the trick. <laughs> What's the occasion, anyway? Well, if you promise not to tell anybody. Maybe, just maybe, I'll confide in you. Excuse me, Mrs. Lord, uh, a messenger just arrived. Aha, uh -huh. these are the invitations uh, from the printers. Just have him uh, put them inside the study. Oh, uh, but it wasn't an invitation, ma'am. It was this. Well, these look exactly... I mean, this looks like my... I don't understand. What is the printer doing? Sending me a sample before he sends the order? Oh, no, he can't. He absolutely can't. Ace is giving a party on the same night as mine. He heard about the plans for my party, and so he decided to upstage me. Why would Ace do something like that? Why does he do anything? The man's power hungry. I mean, he takes over corporations, so he wants to take over my party. Well, just have your party on another night. No, that's out of the question. Why? What difference does it make whose party comes first? Because in matters of this kind, timing is everything. What do you mean, in matters of this kind? Just what I said. I want my party to be an event. Ah, oh, there's something you're not telling me, Mom. There's another reason why you're having this party. You are trying very hard to impress someone. Oh, please. Why would I want to impress anybody? Okay. Have it your way. Oh, all right, if you tell insist. Me. If you insist, I'll tell you. It, there happens to be somebody who's become very important to me. Or he has the potential to. I knew it! It's a new man! <laughs> yes! Do you remember that night at Elmo's when I told you I needed something exciting mm -hmm. and new in my life? Yeah, well, I think I've found it. Yes! He's divine. Oh. oh. You safe to come back now? Uh, yes. Oh, but Leo, I'm afraid I have to leave. I'm going to have to make a uh, house call. You're not thinking of doing what I think you're thinking of doing. Dear, do you think that I have any other choice? Wait a minute, is this some private uh, language between mother and daughter? No, my it... mother's about to make a serious mistake. No, I'm not. I'm just going to tell Asa he has to cancel his party. Well, I'm sorry if I don't stick around for the results, but I've got other things to worry about. Honey, please. You really should get your mind off of you-know-who. There are other things in life. What, like parties? I'm sorry, but I'm looking for the truth, and I'm not going to stop until I find it. I'll see you later. Bye. But then you can introduce him to the right contacts and uh, still impress him mightily, hmm? Leo, you're forcing me to make a humiliating confession. I am? Yes. I can't invite Jonathan because I'm afraid he'll turn me down. <laughs> Don't laugh. He already did once, so I can't ask him out a second time. Truly, the, the, the way I'm going about this, this party plan, it is the shortest, fastest, most efficient way to this man's oh, heart. But Doria, I'm telling you, I've got to get dressed. Goodbye. Thank you so much, Leo. I'll call you later in the studio. Oh, so, yeah, it's going to be a very happy occasion. Bye. Another acceptance. Oh, Dorian, come in, come in. Uh, yes, that was uh, Martin Howe and his wife are very happy to come, but I guess everybody will be, right? Oh, indeed. Well, I imagine you got your invitation. You come over to give me your personal acceptance? No, Asa. I've come over to tell you that you have to cancel your party. 